Hi guys, Ashantin here, how are you? Look up in the right corner at that beautiful map. We are actually playing full craft. And this is an amazing area. Um, it's been chosen by Karma. I'm on Karma's beautiful server. These trees are, well that's an ordinary dark oak, but these are eucalyptus. Um, the awful thing about them is if you divide them into planks, they come out this sort of pink colour. Dorg is building a an absolutely stunning uh, Japanese build over there, and he's built a lovely bridge towards it. We've got an amazing tree there, which I think... Oh, I don't know what it is. We have a player on here that we haven't yet uh, played with on tree. And he's new to us, but my goodness, what a builder. This guy is called Eddie Spaghetti. I'm going to go and have a look at his build shortly, but before, in probably in a different area, actually, different video. We seem to have Savannah, dark woods. We've got eucalyptus woods. We are really looking good. You won't believe it, guys, but this is the community build. And the reason it looks like this is that it actually goes underground. Let's just shut this door because there's all sorts of badness here. This is an incredibly difficult ladder to get down. We then hurtle downstairs, which is fortunately well lit. Somebody tell me whether these gain sounds are too loud. And coming down here, we then have the most amazing place. Um, I love it, look at this. It, let me just take my F1 off. It's like a combination of a Wild West um, scene, uh, a, a sort of Wild West frontier town, uh, combined because we are underground. Look at that beautiful ceiling up there. With, um, an amazing sort of abandoned asteroid where everybody has had to make do. Now, for those of you who aren't used to difference in light between having F1 on and off is quite extraordinary. I don't know why there's a difference. This tree was built by Karma. Karma has built this wonderful hotel with lava. Look at these mushroom lamp skies. This is also, where is it, Karma's little starter house, which is really cute. I like it very much. Dorg has built most of the infrastructure and I can't wait to find out how this stuff works. Um, look at this block stuff, but also look at this beautiful, beautiful pillar. And I have no idea how any of this works yet. This is going to be a learning curve for me. The floor this is chiseled grass and it look at this beautiful transition this is a stuffed toy a stuffed creeper over here i couldn't understand why we have um a volcano underground oh there's the dog miner hi <laughs> advance and be recognized dog i hope i'm here he doesn't seem to have seen me in here we have the forge there we go, look at that. Looking absolutely wonderful. And so that's inside a volcano. I know Dorg has made that. There's a hatchery up there. I think that's for chickens. And then over here, oh, this is, um, I'm getting a bit of lag here. The server's a bit laggy. Hello, hello. <laughs> This is Jackson's Garden Hut, which, as always, Jackson's a wonderful builder, particularly with garden stuff. I already have a path, which I'm sure was made to go to the carpentry, but it comes to me anyway, and someone has extended it here, which is lovely. I want to introduce you guys to the concept of the perfect starter home. This starter home is nine cobble blocks and a door, and this is all I have in the world. Um, I have actually asked permission to come here. Uh, Ashanti will build here if that's okay. That is absolutely okay from Karma. They know I'm trying to get the, um, and here, 
My mate Jackson has left me some dirt, for which many thanks, Jackson, I needed that. I'm going to put some of my loot. I have been raiding chests and I'm going to put some of the stuff I have borrowed, gathered, I'm going to put it into this chest here. Um, that can meld in with that. Uh, I know, funny enough, I know the shape of what I'm going to build, but I don't yet know what colours I'm going to build in. Now, because it's sort of a cross between a, a Wild West frontier and everything else, I think that wood is going to look good. Now, I love the uh, dark wood, but because the hotel's already in that, I'm reluctant to build in that. I'm thinking of cherry wood, which I've built in before, or blue wood. I think the blue wood might be a bit much, but cherry wood I'm used to building with, and it goes exceptionally well with grey. <laughs> this is my front garden. The first thing I've done is plant a front garden. So I have a few bits and pieces. Someone's given me a hot dog. How very nice. And, oh look, they've been putting stuff in. I've been given a hot dog. And they know I love hot dogs. And some tea. How sweet. Thank you, guys. That's really, really nice. Um, also, um, you have to look at what I look like, guys. I mean, look at me. I am head to foot. I've got slime boots. In fact, it might be better to do F5 on this. There we are. Ta-da! <laughs> you can make uh, armour out of almost anything. And I look like a gargoyle. I am covered in cobble. And every time I walk, I should go... <laughs> Enough of this foolishness. But guys, that is what Foolcraft is all about. It's about having fun. And I think I'm going to have a lot of fun learning all these mods. I know some of the mods from Life in the Woods, but the other mods I have yet to learn. So guys, this is where we are so far. And I hope that you would enjoy watching me learn Foolcraft and watching me build and watching this world.